Hello friends, Heather here. And today I'd like to share with you another post-it note holder that I did. Um, you may remember the other day I showed you two that I did using a bunch of glitter for my backgrounds. And so this one is made, uh, the base of it is made the same way as I did these. So if you wanna go back and look at um, the tutorial on how I did these, you can do so. But in a nutshell, um, you're gonna need a piece of pink cardstock or whatever color cardstock you would like to use. You're gonna measure it out six and one quarter inches long, and it's only gonna be three inches wide, and that will fit my um, post-it note sheet, which I purchased a bunch from the dollar store. I'm in a little set, and it just covers it like this. All right, so on my piece here, I did the same um, like I did the last time where I punched a hole at the top here using the smaller hole. So you're just going to easy peasy line up your crocodile, just have it go in as far as it will go and then punch a hole. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. And then you're going to take your ribbon. I don't want to go through um, all this again because I did go through it the other day. And you're just going to um, come down through this side and then come back up through your other hole and then tie a knot there and you just want to make sure your ribbon is flat on the inside. Okay, now for this um, little holder here, I decided to do more of a vintage -y style and I took one of my banner sheets that are that I'm offering, you know, for free on my blog, um, you know, as well as like this little cute image. There's a bunch of little images um, for the free Valentine's Day banner. So you check out my blog to get the freebie images. Um, all you have to do is like subscribe. So I, I took my, um, one of the banner pieces and I trimmed it into a square just so that it would um, fit just inside of my three inches. So like 2.75 inch square would be good. And so that is what I did here. And then I distressed my edges with my craft knife and then I just glued it in place. And then I added this little heart and a banner, which let me see if I can find the banner. Probably not right out in the open. So let me see if I can find one. Here we go. Here's a banner. So the next step was I put on my square, which I am just going to use this little bingo here at the moment, which I cut down. And it's a little bit smaller, but it gives you the same idea. And then I took a banner, I inked my edges, and I laid it on like this. And this is from one of my collage sheets. And then I took this heart image, which I have here, and this is on another collage sheet. And you'll see that I put like a pink background behind it. That way it's easier to um, cut out the shape so it's not quite so hard as getting around all those little roses. But if you wanted to, of course, you could get rid of the pink background and cut right around your image. Now, I used pop dots to elevate mine. So, um, just so you know, and I kind of like just did like one here and there, and we'll put one down there. I'm not actually going to put this one together because I kind of have enough post-it note holders at the moment, but I just wanted you to see how I um, put it together. So you would just line it up like this. And then um, with the same collage sheet that this comes on, I also have this like little cupid shape. And there is also this sweet little image. And again, like I said, I kind of have a background behind them. You see there's like a little background so you can easily cut them out without having to go through all the shape. And then all the little curves and the same thing with the cupid. And then I had these little text boxes and they're tiny. It says, I'm stuck on you, be my Valentine, you're too sweet. And so you can use um, whichever ones you want and just kind of cut them out, ink them, and then put them on your banner. So you'll see that on um, this one I used, I'm stuck 
on you, Valentine. And then I used one of my conversation hearts here, which um, is another collage sheet. And I have little focals, and I also have the um, conversation ones. So there's that. I used a button here at the top from Really Reasonable Ribbon with some cotton candy baker's twine. I used my Art Flitter glue, Designer Dries Clear, to add um, dots around the edge, and I used chalet glitter. And then I used um, Arbor glitter. Actually, I could have used, I've been using a new blue. Let me see if I've got it sitting here. Yep, actually I used mint chiffon this time, which is number 181 for my little blue marks. Like right up here, they look like little hashtag kind of marks. And then on the banner itself, I used fauna. I also used fauna on my lily of the valley. And then I used cheeky pink here on my pink heart glitter. And I think that is like all the colors that I used on this one. All right, now the only main difference between this um, post-it note and these other two that I did is that on this one, I decided to do a bow um, for a closure. And so it's just right here. And it'll just, you can just untie it and it'll open up. So this one will just kind of um, stay closed a little differently. Just looks a little bit fancier and this one has more of a vintage feel to it. And then you can open it up. And this is what the ribbon looks like on the inside. But so all I did here was I just put an extra piece of ribbon in between my heart shape and above my base layers of the banner and my background. So let me get a piece of ribbon here. You can see what that looks like kind of. Here we go. So that would be like if I had these glued in place, then I just took this here and I kind of put it across like this. And then I have this sitting on top. And then I wrap my ribbon around this way so I can tie my knot up here on the front. So the only part that I would um, glue the ribbon down is the part that's like under here. So you don't want to glue any of the ribbon um, to the other side, otherwise it's going to be hard to open it. It won't open. So you only want to glue this little portion here and then tie your bow on the front. All right, so that is pretty much how I did this cute little um, Valentine's Day post-it note holder. And this ribbon here is the Pink Swirls ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And it's like an organza with some pink swirls. And then this is a pink, really pretty soft pink. I'll have links on my blog to uh, the ribbons. So, and then the Mulberry Rose is a 15 millimeter ivory, deep ivory mulberry rose, also from Really Reasonable Ribbon. All right, that's all I'm gonna talk about on that today. Um, but I do want to give you a little sneaky peeky of um, this fry box I did for Valentine's Day. Super cute. Using my medium heart focals and my banners again and of course my conversation hearts. Give you a little peek. And some goodies of course from Really Reasonable Ribbon. So I will be back with a tutorial on this one a little bit later today because this was my prototype and it's kind of not finished. So there you go. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.